Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amugan Sektivel. In this video, we will see how we can use interfaces in test automation framework. Again guys, we are not trying to forcefully fit in interfaces into, into test automation, but actually we have a scenario where we can enforce certain certain method uh, you know that has to be part of uh, you know particular class so how we can achieve this with the with the help of interfaces so basically interfaces can help you to uh, you know define the skeleton for the implementing classes so that's the basic idea behind it but before going to that we have small bit of uh, refactoring that we need to do once we do that uh, we'll also uh, go and see how we can use interfaces into the test automation framework this is one of the most asked interview question but you know i'm not covering in, in in terms of interview perspective but actually there is a use case where you want to define the skeleton of the implementing classes so that's the exact reason why we are using interfaces here right so without wasting much time let's head to the intellij and if you notice we uh, in our last class we have created a driver data uh, att and then we used build a pattern to build it the problem here is this driver data is having too many things let's say this has browser related information these three and then it also has uh, mobile related information this three. so <clears throat> how can we basically uh, split them into different classes for example let's assume uh Amudan, why do we want to let's say you have a question like Amudan, why do you want to split them right they are all good now we we are, we are able to do the work that but the thing is, uh, clean code says, uh, let's say, uh, let's imagine like this, okay? You have name, uh, you have ID, you have, uh, let's say, uh, some some different, different, uh, let's say, entities, right? So first name, uh, last name, whatever. And uh, you also have something related to address, let's say street name. And then you also have building name, okay? So you have something like this in an in a entity. So what we normally do, we normally split these information related to an address into an address class so this we can manage them in a better way that's exactly the same thing that we're going to do here these three informations are basically related to browsers and these uh, three information are related to mobile so we're going to split them into two different entities so that we can manage them better right so that's what we're going to do so this driver data is going to be split into two different classes uh, one let's assume that we name it as uh, web driver data. And then, uh, and we'll also create one more uh, for this. And this, we name it as mobile driver data. Right. And guys, if you feel, feel the video, video is a little slow, please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2. Now, I'll copy this, right? And uh, let's put it here. And let's also copy this and let's put it here. And we we'll also need one more of this. Okay, copy this and put it here. Okay, good. So this is all done. And this class is composed of two different things. One is uh, web driver data, uh, web driver data. And we'll also have mobile driver data, right? And yes. So this is throwing errors because we have already used this in our builder patterns. So let's see, okay. Let's go to the web driver data and let's add builder and at the rate getter, right? The same way I can add it in the mobile driver data. So this is all good. Now we can go here um, and instead of building the driver data, I, what I could do, I could do web driver data, right? So, and here it just gives me web driver data back. So very, very simple. And uh, yeah, we have to change it here. Yeah, we will do that the same way. We will go here and then we want to generate mobile driver data and using the mobile driver data builder and everything looks fine. And let's go here. Instead of getting the whole driver data, this time we will go get web driver data, right? The same way here, we're going to get the mobile driver. Data. It's all about it guys, very, very neat. Uh, we don't have to play around with driver data now. And if you notice, this driver data is not at all used anywhere. So we just think for a moment and see if this is really needed. If it is needed, not at this point of time, uh, the, there is one principle called Yagni which tells you aren't going to need it. Maybe in the future we may need it, but for now we don't need it. So we are smart enough to create it when this is needed. So for now, I don't see any necessity for this particular class. So let's remove this, right? So now this all looks fine, right? Now comes the concept of, you know, 
implementing interfaces uh, let's say uh, there is uh, you know condition here if the run mode is local we are we are returning them a local driver factory dot grid driver and then we are passing the browser type itself same way if you notice remote driver remote web driver uh, factory is is accepting two different parameters for the you know uh, for the get driver method so if if i if i have to create an interface let's say i want to create an interface uh, let's name this as the interfaces needs to be an adjective but uh, i cannot name it as drivable okay this is not really needed uh, so i i for now i i'll treat it as i driver okay i web driver so this is going to deal with drive web driver right so so i'll name it as i web driver so this is an interface and this actually going to hold uh, a method called as get driver right okay and this what is going to return is going to return web driver and then i can import this so i i am defining the skeleton here but the thing is you know here if you notice one is accepting a browser type and one is accepting browser remote mode type and then browser type so a lot of changes here right so i need to have something in common so that i can you know define a skeleton for this so what i am going to do instead of passing the get driver here uh, you know the browser type here itself what i'm going to do i'm going to create an implementing classes that is going to accept the driver data itself okay not the whole thing so i'm going to have an interface with a method get driver that accepts web driver data so i can just put data or driver data, right so now this is fine so let me create two implementing classes okay so let's create a uh, 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 class for now maybe we'll put it in uh, you know implement packages later but for now yeah we'll create a class called as uh, local uh, web driver right input so this adding input at the end means it's a, it's an implementation for an interface so yes and then yes i want to add it and it implements i web driver right and let's implement this method and here after getting this okay i can now call let's go here and i can call this okay and i can simply go here and put this okay all good now so this is very very easy right so now we have we are moving all these logics to some other place and also we have defined the interface that gives us some skeleton okay okay now we we'll also need a remote web driver so let me quickly copy this and then quickly paste it inside this and let's name this as remote web driver input add it and here uh, instead of all this logic i'll copy these logics and put it here okay right yeah and here i can simply say local uh, web driver impul dot so i need to create a, this is implementation right so and then i can simply pause the driver data and what is telling so okay sorry guys so it's it's basically an empty constructor and then i need to pass driver data to this right the same way new remote web drive dot get driver and then i'll pass the driver data. okay it's all good now right and again guys if you notice it's a very simple if condition right so i can use uh, something like this okay instead of this i can say uh, return you evaluate this particular expression Okay, you evaluate this particular expression and return this. Okay, if it is true, if it is false, you return this. Okay, right. So what you are doing here? So we are trying to evaluate this expression. If it is true, you return this. If it is false, you return this. Very very easy, right? So very very simple. Again, guys, you can also um, basically. Uh, 
you know have a lambda expression for this and then provide an java 8 kind of implementation yeah that's up to you but here it's very very simple you evaluate this expression if it is true you return this if it is false you return this right so it, it takes away the nice if, if conditions the same way we can do it for the get driver for mobile so the, all the logics remains the same the only difference is instead of accepting the web driver data is going to accept the mobile driver data right so let's let's create a new interface maybe i'll copy this i'll paste it and i mobile driver right and let's add this and instead of web driver data it's going to be mobile driver data same way i'll copy this i'll paste it and local mobile driver input let's add it and here let's go to the driver factory and copy this full stuff come here and paste it right and why this is showing error because this has to be mobile driver data right implements i mobile driver. again guys this is the problem with you are copy pasting things right and yeah and once this is done let me copy this and again paste it instead of local we'll put it as remote mobile driver input and add it and let's go to the driver factory again and uh, let's copy this whole stuff and let's go to the remote mobile and yeah so this all that now let's close all these things let's go to the <clears throat> drive factory and if you notice here uh, i want to evaluate this particular expression return return this evaluate this particular expression okay if it is true i want you to return new uh, local mobile driver impl dot get driver and then i need to pass the driver data right the same way i don't need to do all these things okay false if it is false what i want to do is new remote web driver impl right dot get driver and then the driver data so now we have used here the interfaces to provide the you know the skeleton the skeleton does not going to change anymore right so get driver is always going to be get driver that accepts web driver data right and mobile driver is always going to accept mobile driver data again it makes more sense for me to name it as web driver data and this as mobile driver data right so yeah very very simple things again guys you can club them together uh, you know we can see how we can manage them but at the high level i i have an i web driver interface that defines a skeleton now as a get driver so everyone who has to pass it they always have to pass this web driver data to us right so we are defining the skeleton the same way if we want to do quit driver uh, as a skeleton so we can say quit driver but most probably we won't be needing anything out of this but yeah but yeah if you want we can also define the skeleton like that but we, we are not it there so so we don't have to worry about the quit driver as of now right and yeah so now this is all done and uh, now if you go and take a look at our driver factory it's it's very very clean right again we can use java 8 implementations to to refactor them and in our next video what we do uh, we we will basically um, you know make this as a thread safe once we create the web driver uh, we want to do parallel execution so we want to make it as a thread safe so we'll we'll do that with the help of thread local we'll create the driver managers class to to handle it and we are we will continue from there so for now so what we have done is we understood we are passing too many data to, for the uh, you know the get driver for web and then we optimize that by only sending the required information same here for the mobile data we are passing too many information before but we are only sending mobile driver information now right that's good and we don't have an interface previously so that's the reason it was all over the place but yeah here it is very very simple uh, so 
we have an interfaces that defines uh, you know implementations for we are these classes and we are we are overriding the get driver method and then passing our stuff again guys most importantly factory methods have to implement uh, you know in a such a way that it returns an instance of uh, you know different implementations for an interfaces so it's as simple as that but previously we were having static methods that were doing that but yeah that's we are developing very gradually so at particular point of time i may not be abiding to all the coding standards but yeah slowly i'll refactor in the way that you know we follow all these uh, coding standards right so that's all for today uh, i'll see you guys in another great video until then tata bye bye from then thank you guys bye bye